Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Today we are going to look at Kaspersky Security Center in a different way, in a different topic. Like we would like to see how we can block any specific website or categories or category of a website. So we'll see how we can block any particular category or multiple categories or a specific website address using Kaspersky Endpoint Security and Kaspersky Security Center policy. So to do that, uh, before I move forward, what I would like to show you is I have over here Kaspersky Security Center um, and I have over here client machine where I have Kaspersky Endpoint Security already installed. If I open websites over here, I don't have any restrictions. If you look over here, I can simply browse to Facebook very easily. Now I, I'll see over here how I can block category of websites or a particular website from there or a content on that particular website. So let's start with Kaspersky Security Center policy. If you look over here, I have a policy called Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows 11.4. Uh, to do this, you have security controls over here. You have application control, device control, web control, and of course, we are going to talk about web control. So I'll go and create a new category. I would probably name it as social uh, networking websites. And then in the category filter, if you so see over here, I can select any particular uh, content category, and I would be given choices which are pre-built by Kaspersky Security Center uh, for, by Kaspersky Lab. So I'll just simply choose social networks and I would say action I would like to have block over here. I can also choose the schedule at what time I would like to have it blocked. I can probably allow my employees or my uh, team members to be allowed to use Facebook during the working hours. Uh, after the working hours or during the lunch break or so, so something like this. Maybe during the lunch break, they should be allowed to use Facebook. So I'll just name it as schedule uh, lunch break, let's say, and I would say, okay. And I would just simply click on okay over here. And then I would click okay to apply this policy. And you will see over here the status of this policy. If I go in details, it says it is already finished on lab computer WS02, which is my workstation 2. And this is now applied to this security center, uh, to this endpoint control, uh, endpoint machine. So if I try to open Facebook now, you see I have been given this warning message which states that the access is blocked. There is a possibility that I don't want to block them, but I would like to warn them before they go to any particular website, which they are not supposed to do, right? So in that case, what I can do is I can go to security center controls again in the web security. The rule which I have created over here says block the content. What I can do is I can simply say warn and I can click on allow, uh, okay, and then I'll again click on okay and you would see that this would be enforced in within few seconds to that particular machine. Once this is enforced, of course, we can go over there and this machine, which is my endpoint machine, and now I'll try to open the Facebook again. And you see now the page is stating the warning and I can simply put up the reason, I can request access, I can send it, and then this message would be shared to administrator about it. All right, the page Facebook has been blocked by social networking website rule uh, because the web resources belongs to social networks, etc, etc. I've sent it to my particular administrator. Now if I come over here in administration server, I would be able to see this information over here in the events all right, and I would see over here warnings or user requests. Yeah, user requests. I should be able to see it over here, which is coming over here, the request which 
what I can do is I can simply open this event all right and I can do the needful which is required if if there is anything which should be required over here I should allow them or block them or whatever you feel is something which you would like to do as an action um, coming back to security center over here if you see I can go and add it uh, it, it is applied to all user I have capability to apply to particular group I can definitely import it from my uh, uh, group policy uh, from my active directory if I'm connected to active directory and I can pull the information from there so it's easy it's not a problem if I would like to bring up the groups from my active directory so definitely I would have over here the browse uh, directory to browse and then I would just simply apply it to that particular group if I would like to uh, apply to all that area uh, the other way what I have over here is right uh, what I can do else over here now let's just close this and let's try to browse it again okay and if you see over here now I have this warning message but I have clicked the link to open the requested web page click the link to obtain access to the entire content of the website on which the requested web page is located or click the link to obtain access to all existing domains or relevant area of this particular Facebook so I'll click on this and see now I'm able to reach to the website easily now let's look at how we can block any particular website rather than a complete list of websites over there so I would say um, I would name this rule as specific or let's say I just want to block uh, LinkedIn all right LinkedIn all right and rather than all websites I can put up a website address over here and I can say let's say star dot LinkedIn dot com and I would say okay and then the action as block and I'll say okay over here and okay over here so now we we'll wait for this policy to be applied we'll go over here and let's try to open LinkedIn over here and for that I would type this and you see the own LinkedIn is blocked all right but let's try facebook.com and see if this can be opened so now I can open Facebook but under the same rule I can only block specific websites over here uh, if I would like to block any particular content over here I need to make sure that that website is in HTTP because HTTPS we will not be able to scan the content of the website so um, for that of course we would need to block complete category or the content or the website completely but not like if probably I would like to block um, video type video will not be blocked if the website is using HTTPS because we will not be able to scan the data that so the best way to do that is to block the uh, category so rather than now LinkedIn for example I would like to block all uh, websites or I would like to block the category as we were doing earlier so I can block social network websites again as I said that you can block it to individual addresses or you can block it to complete you can block it to particular users and of course you can apply the schedule which we were talking about earlier so this is how you can block any particular a website or the category or categories of website as we were talking about uh, if we want to block it for multiple categories so I can just simply select let's say social networking web based emails or I probably would like to block online stores and stuff like that I can do that so it would be really easy to just simply choose those websites from there I'll just remove this from here and I'll say all addresses and okay now let's review our rule back just to make sure web based mail and all these things should be blocked the social network and the web based mail now let's wait for this to be applied 
after that we are going to go into our workstation and currently Facebook is allowed let's try to open it again and let's try to open maybe uh, gmail.com and maybe I can try to open hotmail.com so you see all these are blocked because my content category over here says blog web mails and social network websites so let's come back over here and see what our rule says forget about the name look at the content of what we are going to block over here thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you were looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.